Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews and Boker Tov. Hallelujah for another blessed Shabbat, little Hebrews. We are so, so excited about today's lesson. Today, little Hebrews, we're going to be talking about keeping our eye on Yah and talking about what it means, little Hebrews. So let's just jump right into the lesson. We're going to start with part one of the audio. And it's called Keeping Your Eye on Yah. Hallelujah. First, little Hebrews, let's talk a little bit about what it means to keep your eye on Yah. Keeping your eye on Yah, little Hebrews, it leads us to have faith in Yah, to have trust in Yah, to depend on Yah, to know that Yah will protect us from all things, little Hebrews. Keeping our minds on Yah means staying focused on Yah. And to stay focused, little Hebrews, that means to have your mind on one thing. You know, like if you're about to do something, like let's say you're about to put your tassels on. So you're going to focus on putting on your tassels because that's what you're doing at that time. So keeping your eyes on Yah is kind of the same thing, you know. It's staying focused on Yah, staying focused on keeping His commandments, and making sure, little Hebrews, that Yah is first in your life and what that means is making sure you keep the commandments hallelujah so little hebrews what i would like to start off with is psalms 121 we're gonna we're gonna um t read a few scriptures in psalms today so make sure uh, you can have your bible with you make sure you get a pen or a pencil so you can write down the scriptures just in case you don't have your Bible, you can always go back with your mom and dad and read over the scriptures. All right? So now, again, like I said, we're going to start with Psalms 121. You ready? I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yah, maker of the heavens and the earth. He does not allow your foot to be moved. He who watches over you does not slumber. See, he who, he who is guarding Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. Yah is your guard. Yah is your shade at your right hand. The sun does not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Yah guards you from all evil. He guards your being. Yah guards your going out and your coming in now and forever. So, little Hebrews, we're going to break that down and tell you a few things in that uh, chapter that we just read. We're going to tell you what it means. So, Let's start off from the beginning, little Hebrews. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from Yah. Hallelujah, little Hebrews. That means everything in our lives that we do, that we say, the things that we are blessed with, food, shelter, clothing, all those things come from Yah, little Hebrews, because Yah blesses your parents with things so that they are able to get you food, shelter, and clothing. So it comes from Yah, little Hebrews. Yah is your help, no matter what, little Hebrews. If you're having a, a bad day at school, or you're feeling sad, or you're just going through a time in your life where you might not understand why mom or dad has told you to do something, you know what you do, little Hebrews? You go to Yah in prayer. This scripture I is telling you that all your help comes from Yah. So how do we ask Yah for help, little Hebrews? How do we ask him? We pray. We go to Yah. We lift up our hands, little Hebrews. We lift up our eyes to Yah, who is above us, who is in the heavens, little Hebrews. And trust me, Yah will hear your prayers. You know why? Because the scriptures tell us he will, little Hebrews. As long as we're living right and we're following his laws, his statutes and commandments, we're honoring and obeying our mother and father as the Ten Commandments tells us, little Hebrews, Yah will hear your prayers. Yah will help you. So always remember that, little Hebrews. Keep your eye on Yah. Keep your heart on Yah. Keep your mind on Yah by going to Yah in prayer, by reading the scriptures every day. By applying what you read, you know, like we are, we know we're supposed to wear tassels. So you know that you can read it in the scriptures in Numbers 15 and 35. But once you read it, you have to apply it, you know. Just like we know there are certain things that we shouldn't eat. How do we know? Because Yah tells us in the scriptures, 
and then we apply it to our lives. You know, we know that we're not supposed to be eating the nasty pork, so we don't eat it. Why? Because Yah says so. But because we keep our eye on Yah, which which means like we're reading the, the scriptures, we're reading the laws, the commandments, and we apply them. So we keep our eye on Yah by doing the things that Yah tells us to do. By praying, little Hebrews, by staying focused on what Yah tells us to do. You understand, little Hebrews? I hope you do. All right, so let's continue. My help comes from Yah, maker of the heavens and the earth. He does not allow your foot to be moved. He who watches over you does not slumber. See, he who is guarded Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. You know what that means, little Hebrews? That no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, Yah is always there. He's always protecting you. Yah doesn't get sleepy like we do, little Hebrews. Yah doesn't get tired and don't feel like doing anything, little Hebrews. Yah is always guarding us, Israel. Um, yeah, Israel, which is basically you little Hebrews too. <laughs> um, but Yah is always guarding Israel. He neither slumbers, that means he doesn't get lazy, or sleeps. He never gets tired. That's how much he loves us, little Hebrews. He's always protecting us. He's always watching over us. It says, Yah is your guard. You know, like he's protecting you. He's your protection. Yah is your shade. That means he's covering you, little Hebrews, which is the same thing as protecting you, little Hebrews. It is a blessing to be up under Yah's protection, little Hebrews. Hallelujah. So, little Hebrews, as we are talking about keeping your eye on Yah, it, is, it also goes along with keeping your mind on Yah, reading the scriptures, again, applying them, little Hebrews. Keeping your eye on Yah is having faith in Yah. What is faith, little Hebrews? I'm sure you little Hebrews already know what faith is, but we're going to just remind you what faith is, little Hebrews. Faith is knowing that no matter what, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening, no matter who around you is maybe saying something bad about the scriptures or maybe making you feel bad because you're wearing tassels, no matter what, little Hebrews, if you believe that Yah is going to protect you, if you believe that Yah will handle every situation you deal with in life, that's having faith. Having faith is knowing that Yah will look out for you. Having faith is knowing that Yah will guide your parents to do the right thing, you know, like lead the family the right way, teach you the scriptures, and provide all the things you need. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and not yet seen. That's Hebrews chapter 11, I believe. One second, I'm going to go to it just to make sure that I'm calling out the right scriptures for you little Hebrews. That's why it's always good to have your scriptures in front of you so that you can follow along and know um, what scriptures is being said. All right. So that's Hebrews chapter 11. Let me just get there. Chapter 11, verse 1. And belief is the substance of what is expected. The proof is of what is not seen. So basically what that's saying, little Hebrews, is you might pray to Yah for something like, you know, Yah, please help me um, find my red shirt. And although you might not find it as soon as you open your eyes, that doesn't mean that it's not there. But Yah will show you where it's at when it's time. So you might say, I know I saw this shirt in the drawer, but you pray to Yah like, Yah, please help me find my red shirt. I looked in the drawer. I don't see it. But because you believe in Yah and you know that he is listening to your prayers and that he loves you and he's going to answer your prayers, when you finish praying, you might go look in your closet and there's your red shirt. So <laughs> I hope that made sense to you, little Hebrews. But having faith is knowing that no matter what you pray for, that Yah will bless you with it when it's time. Sometimes we pray little Hebrews, like maybe for somebody to stop picking with us, but let's say they don't do it right away. That doesn't mean that Yah doesn't hear you. Sometimes Yah just wants you to be patient and wait for him. So if you're keeping your eye on him and you're staying focused, then you will see when Yah will bless you and answer your prayers. So with that little Hebrews, we will stop here and Ema will come up and ask you some questions and we will continue with part two of keeping your eye on Yah. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom.